beauties, it is Sherry, and guess what time it is? It is time to ask the Bombshell Matchmaker. I love this tag so much. I don't know what I'm going to do when it ends. I'll be so bummed out. So anyways, I'm going to get started right now because we, a lot of times I start jibber-jabbering at the beginning and then it goes long and then you guys get bored of me. But first, of course, I got to show you what I did for my makeup today because it's all springy and it, I saw the look yesterday at Dillard's and I had to do it and I did it on camera actually. So if you want to look and see how I did it, see, you can see here, it is um, Nikki Viva Glam for MAC and I am so happy because I actually bought the right products to do the look and I did the look. Now don't get me wrong, the look did take me quite a while to do. Um, I did it on the webcam but I wanted it to look really good so I actually curled my hair, I mounted everything for it. So just let y'all know if you are interested in seeing how I did it, it's probably either going to be on soon or it's already been on. But I got so much fun stuff to talk about that I got to get going on now or I'll never get it going. All right, so here we go. We are on um, Ask the Bombshell Maker um, Part 3. And this is going to be a fun one because this one we are actually going to do kind of a, a little giveaway. Um, I've decided that some of the questions, by the way, I got my coffee here. Janet from Daffodil Baby. Thank you. Love you. Love my drink. I gotta be careful that I got a computer in my lap. It's so good though. You guys have to get one of these. They're so good. This is Starbucks, but I talked to Caribou Coffee today. They're sending me my coffee beans. I'm almost out. I'm so happy. They're the best. They have to be for how much I paid for shipping. Okay, now. Alright, we are on. Where did my little remote go? Okay, now. We had ended our last session with um, which is better, Legos or Lincoln Logs. Now, um, here in Bombshell Land at Team Bombshell. Team Bombshell. Compliments of you, Connie. Thank you, beautiful. Um, oh, do. we have decided at our household that the Legos won by a landslide, and I love it. My little boy came up to me with the little Lego guy, and he says, look, Mom, I made Grandpa. And I saw it, and I was, like, laughing so hard, and I said, what are, what's this? And he's like, oh, that's his hair. I said, his hair? It's like gray and he's like I know mom he has like gray hair and I was thinking to myself I'm like hmm that's true I mean we all do go older some of us do not us beautiful blonde trophy chicks right I don't know who that would be that would definitely not me but anyways um to get back you know I'm all joking I totally am kidding when I talk about trophy wives gold diggers and money and all that it really doesn't matter if you have money. All that matters is that you're in love. Yeah, tell that to the judge when you get a divorce and you're trying to get like some kind of money for your child support. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Again, I I'm, I don't know what that's like. I've never gone through anything like that, so I have no idea. I'm just so teasing. I just I'm just going off of Judge Judy. That's all I know. Or I know that there's another show that's been on lately. It's Trisha. Trisha Paytas, you were on um, Judge Alex. I saw that on YouTube. Wow. That's amazing. She's on a couple TV shows. I hope that she feels better. I do. I really like her. I think she's a sweetheart. I've never met her before or anything. I just think that she's funny. Okay, anyways, now let's go ahead and answer my question. So we already know that Legos are the way to go. I just still don't think it's fair that men can get gray hair and look better and they actually have coloring kits and all that and then us women we have to do everything we can to stay a different color and all that kind of stuff okay now we are at we are at okay um are you stubborn i'm wondering what you all think do you all think i'm stubborn hmm well i'll let you think about that for a second 
Okay, you get that for a second. Yes, I am stubborn. And you know why? Because I am a mom. And when you become a mom, you really become stubborn. And why is that? It's because you realize in life that things aren't too fair. Well, you know what? In my life, I want them fair. And so I think I go ahead and I argue for it too much a little bit. But you know what? It's all out of love. That's all I have to say. Because I just don't understand. Let me just get this up my hand. I got to get this out. Just one time. Just one time. How all these stores have these return policies that say, if you are not satisfied 100%, please bring your purchase back and we will refund you your purchase price, right? Then how come if you go to take something back, even if you've never worn it or even used it or anything, they're like, what's wrong with that? Hmm. Well, I'll do it this time, but next time I'm not going to do it. Well, then why do you have the return policy? And why are, why are you so nasty? Is it really coming out of your pocket? Not really. It's probably coming out of the people that are, like, way above you that don't even care if you're working for them. So, okay, I'm done with that. Thank you. I'm a nice girl again. Okay. I just don't like that. It's not fair. And I know you all understand. I know everybody here gets it. I think that's why this is such a great tag. Is everything I'm seeing. Everyone's like, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, that's why all of, we're all going to unite and find our soulmates. And then the bombshell millionaire. Or millionaire. Okay, the bombshell millionaire matchmaker. I almost went off with the millionaire matchmaker. I started talking about money again. Bad me. Bad Santa. Okay. By the way, I do love the Millionaire Matchmaker. I think Patty is amazing. She is so beautiful and she is such a great thinker. I love it. Okay, now, who is better, Leno or Letterman? This list must have been done quite a while ago because they forgot about my man, Andy Cohen. I love him. He is awesome. He is, um, if you haven't watched Watch What Happens Live on Bravo, you totally need to watch it because he is so funny. It's all like 11 o'clock Eastern time and then they show it, you know, like the repeats and stuff. Totally a great show. you got to watch it. You'll have such a great time. It's great. Okay. Do you ever watch soap operas? Well, yeah. Who doesn't? I mean, come on. I love watching repeats of 90210 because that was like the show I grew up with. I absolutely love it. In Days of Our Lives, of course. And now, honestly, don't you think like the new reality TV shows are kind of like soap operas? I mean, they are. They're not sitcoms, that's for sure. Well, it depends. Some of our sitcoms. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I love all TV. I just love everything. I don't know. I'm one of the... I'm crazy, aren't I? I just love life. I love lamp. Okay, what's that from? What movie is that from? There you go, people. Right there. I love lamp. What movie is that from? You comment, you get a prize. It has to be the first comment, though. It has to be the first comment. You get a prize. You get a prize. Remember, you either get an eyeshadow, a tank top, sweatshirt with team bombs, or whatever. I don't care. We'll figure something out, but I like that. Okay. That's one of them right there. I love Noob. Okay, now, all right. Um. All right, next one. Are you afraid of heights? Well, listen to this. I am definitely not a tall person. I am fun-sized. I consider myself a very fun-sized person at five foot one, with my heels on. I'm about five seven. So, um, if I was afraid of heights, I probably wouldn't be able to wear six-inch heels. So, I'm gonna say no for right now. But then, you ask me again later if I go to try to jump out of an airplane, and I might get kind of a little bit teeny weeny nervous so yeah but I wouldn't mind being in the penthouse on top of like um, the palms or anything like that Adrian Maloof if you would like me to come see the palms I will give you a great review I promise Call me. okay now um I love her Adrian Maloof she has like the most amazing mind and she's beautiful and she is like a rock star I love her how can you not she's amazing Great, great head on her shoulders. You gotta love that. Okay. Um, where am I? Where am I? Okay. Do you sing in the car? Oh my goodness gracious. Do I sing in the car? Of course I sing in the car. I have satellite radio. What songs do you think I sing in the car? 
Can anybody guess? Okay, here we go. All right, now, first of all, I am not a name dropper for celebrities, but there's this one song that I always hear on the radio, and it always reminds me of one of my good friends. Her name is Julie Finley. Um, you might know her as Tony Katane. She was in that movie um, Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks. I love her. She's such a sweetheart. I haven't seen her in years. I knew her back when she was playing when she was married to Chuck Finley when he was playing baseball, and I lived in Arizona and she was there for spring training and she's an amazing amazing woman. But anyway, she was in the video for that um, song for. Um, for one of the bands and it goes here I go again on my own so every time I hear that song I start singing and so um yeah I totally do sing in the car and I always crack up when I hear like those monster ballads because like every rose has its thorn and I don't know, but something has to rhyme with the song. It's like, they don't make sense. The songs don't make sense at all, but they rhyme. That's all that matters, is that the monster ballads, they rhyme. They don't need to make sense, because most of those people are kind of out of it at the time. I wouldn't know. I, honestly, I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't do any of that stuff. Could you imagine me on that? Ooh, it would be scary. Okay, now let's see. Um, do I sing in the shower? Of course, I sing in the shower. Do you like pina colada? Getting caught in the rain. Boom, 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 boom. I've done that before. You all know I sing that song in the shower, so that's that's too easy for you. But I got a couple. One. Oh, there's like. Okay, we got four more questions. Five more questions, and we're done. And then I gotta go. Okay, and you guys have plenty of chances to win here. Okay. Now, um, do you dance in the car? Do I dance in the car? I do dance in the car. And I am going to do two dances for you right now. And if you all can name them, you put them in the comment section. Whoever names them first is going to win a prize. You ready? Here it goes. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, it's from the 90s. What could it be? What could it be? Remember? Remember? Okay. Yeah, that's one of them. Now, here's the other one. I totally do not know the first words of it, but I do know part of it. So, but it was a dance. It goes, hot and flame to the go. Let me see that tootsie roll to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Now, dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. Yeah, I, I used to love that dance, too. Okay, now, there was one more. One more that I totally loved. Totally, totally, totally loved. Okay, now, MC Hammer used to do it. And, you you know, you go like this. But the legs, you do the involved legs. See, I'm telling you, I'm giving you a hint. So, if you guys got to answer this question. It's by MC Hammer, and he go like this. Can't touch us. Can't touch us. I actually went to that concert. I did. I went to that concert to um, MC Hammer. I went with my girlfriends. We had the best time. I loved it. I was, I loved it. That's all there is to it. Love it. Okay. Now, I will not torture you for much longer, but this is just so much fun. Now, remember, put the answers in the comment box so you guys can win prizes. Okay. Um, all right. Um, we did the dancing in the car just now, which it's so like, uh, I did, I'm ruining all these questions, aren't I? I'm totally obliviating them. Okay. Now, um, Let's see. Have I ever used a gun? Yeah, I have. A squirt gun? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I know. It's probably really hot to see girls with guns and stuff. I've never used a gun before. Maybe I need to go to the driving range. I don't know. Driving range is for golf. Yeah. Okay. I'll stick to golf. All right. Now, let's see. What was the last time you had a portrait taken by a photographer? Today, believe it or not, it was today. I had to do a little photo shoot. Okay, let's see here. Do you think musicals are cheesy? I am going to end this on this question. Do I think musicals are cheesy? Heck no, musicals rock. I love art, every kind of art, and musicals are art as well. Now, 
what musical is my favorite? That's not in here, okay? Because I'm, look at this. I'm closing this up for the day. Bye-bye, computer. Oh my goodness, you're so dirty. You need to be cleaned. Okay, I'm going to put my, my little computer down there. Okay, now. I am going to do something absolutely off the wall. I am going to sing you a few lines from my favorite musical. And this is going to be the Mac Daddy winner. Okay? The Mac Now, um, I would love to hear as many comments as possible on these. Okay, first of all, tell me if you still want me to keep doing them, for one. And because I want to keep doing them if it's driving y'all crazy. But most people are like, I mean, honestly, I get emails every day saying, do more, do more questions, do more. But I don't want them to do so many that you guys are like, I don't want to watch that chick anymore. She's driving us crazy. Okay, so anyways, okay, here is the um, the musical I'm going to sing. And then you guys got to make a comment of what it is. Okay, I'm totally going to blow it. Remember, I can't sing at all. I'm the worst singer, okay? But I'm going to try it. Okay, here we go. And remember, go look at my my Nikki video. <laughs> so I can do makeup a whole lot better than singing. I'm so nervous. Okay. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay. This is what one of the songs is um, in this musical. And I don't want to blow it because I love it so much. Okay, you ready? Okay, here it goes. And the girl that's singing it, her name is Adelaide, and she has blonde hair as well. All right, so just remember, let me, I'll give you a hint. Frank Sinatra is in this musical. All right, you ready? Here it goes. I'm, I'm going to totally blow it, but I'm going to try. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'll even bring you in a little bit so you can watch me sing. Okay, you ready? Let me get in the character here. All right, okay, here we go. Take back your mink <gasps> take back your pearls what made you think that i was one of those girls i'm screaming take back the gown and all worn out hat <gasps> i may be cruel but i'm not black is all that i thought that each expensive gift you arrange was a token of your esteem we found out what you want in exchange <gasps> it all seemed a horrible treat oh okay do we know I'm not singing any more of that. That was enough as it is. That was awful. I might have to cut some of that out. Should I edit that or not? I don't know. Who knows? That was so bad. Anyways, um, you all, that is the end of the third series of the Blonde Bombshell Matchmaker. Please stay tuned for um, the next one which will include another about 10 questions to drive you insane while you have to watch them. Now, please just go ahead and make comments and let me know what you think. It's all fun, guys. It really is. If you want to skip through some of the the questions, go right ahead. But I really feel like you're getting to know me now, and it's really loosened me up a bit, I think, quite a bit. Obviously, I just sing a crazy song for you and I know I can't sing so everybody I love you all you guys have been amazing thanks for watching um like I said I did do the Nikki Aviva Glam in one of my videos I had a lot more things going on I got some great hauls coming up I got the Urban Decay's new eyeshadows and the palettes to show you I can't wait so everybody um I hope you know that I love you all I thank you all so much for watching me and you guys go out and you have yourselves a bombshell day. Bye everybody! Later Gators!